Ah, London. What a town. History around every corner, and a tourist photographing it. Pubs serving up a pint and a smile. All that music, theater, and art. And multiculturalism. And the world's oldest underground, the Tube. The class of cities, really. Top shelf stuff. Only took 12,000 years to build it up, and one night to tear it all down. Status. Perimeter security's down, but plenty of your flying friends about. Fucking hell. Dalton, no time to waste. Yes, ma'am. I'm in. Any idea what we're up against, Bailey? If you hadn't rushed off, I might. Ever consider leaving these security threats to the authorities? That's rich, Bagley. The government would sooner arrest us for trying to help than actually do something useful. We'll have to sort this one on our own. Carefully, Dalton. Bagley, are you detecting a little worry in Sabine's voice? Brilliant. Asking the computer about feelings. This explains so much. Shut it, you two, and get to work. There she is. hurt you more than it hurt me. Do us a favor and keep it quiet, Dalton. If they don't shoot me, I won't shoot them. How's that? of dead set gear down here. And why do you suppose that is? What? How did they get their hands on it? I don't know. But someone wants to make it look like dead set was here. Shit. You need to proceed with extreme caution, Dalton. Who are these men in black anyway? Nothing identifying. I suspect that's by design. Oh, fuck me. The entire place is rigged to blow. Jesus, those canisters. Bagley, is that... RDX nitrogen. Enough to level Parliament. Can you locate a detonator, Bagley? Not exactly, but there's a device streaming a fuckload of encrypted data from the floor above you. Yeah, that fits the bill. On my way. dead set propaganda all around the bombs. These pricks are gonna blow up Parliament and hang it on us. Not if you get to that detonator first. Their profiles are heavily encrypted. No identifying information. <sighs> Ghosts in this system.
the House of Commons. Whoever these men in black are, they've got brass bollocks to set up in the center of government. I found the detonator. And it's definitely live. Bagley, I'm gonna need some help with this. Yes, you are, but sadly, I'm locked out. Fuck. Well, we don't have a chance without Bagley. Wait, I might know a workaround. We trained your manual overrides at MI5. If you're full of surprises. Be quick about it. All right, Bagley, do your thing. I'm in. And the bombs have just armed themselves. Well, that may complicate matters. For fuck's sake. Can you defuse them or not? Of course I can, but I might also trip another failsafe and vaporize it, so fair warning. I expect this to draw some attention your way, Dalton. Oh, I'm counted on it. Company at our back door. Shit. Dalton, we've got some heat here at HQ. How long is this going to take, Bagley? Depends how often you interrupt me with questions. All right, everyone. Faces on, guns out. It's about to get real. Fuck. They're on me. I'll try and hold them off. Tell me you're close. I'm through security, now wading through terabytes of decoy code looking for the detonation sequence. Bagley, update. Let's just say I'm both impressed and annoyed by how sophisticated this anti-tamper security is. Still working. Dalton, I need your physical appendages now. What's wrong? There are three slots on the left. One of them is the receiver. You need to pull the controller wire. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm fucking not. Pull the wire. If this gets me blown up... Diffused. <laughs> See, that wasn't so bad, was it? Bagley, you bastard. You're gonna give me a bloody heart attack then. <laughs> whoa, 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 what the fuck am I looking at? It appears Parliament is not the only target. More bombs are going live as we speak. On screen, Bagley. Fuck it, now we need to get the word out. Those sites need to be evacuated. They're spread out all over London. There isn't any time. But my sisters at the Tone Conference, we have to do something. I picked up a transmitter on the roof that is sending out a signal to the other bomb sites. If you can reach it, I can shut it all down. Sabine! Fuck! Dalton, we're breached! Go! The roof! Sabine, what's going on? We're being raided. It's a bloodbath. Her protocol is to wipe everything, including Bagley. I need him for the transmitter. I know, but if they get him, they get everything. Names, opt, locations. Okay, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Wipe him. Yes, wipe me. Do it, Sabine, and get the hell out of there. Fuck. 
Okay. Bagley's down. You're on your own. Dalton, this goes. It won't. I'll see you at the rally point. I promise. Good luck. some important work. Important work? Killing thousands of... Exactly. To save the world. You do know Londoners have died before. Hmm? The plague, the great fire, the blitz. There's not much fun. But destruction is always the cure. And it begins today. Zero day. Time for a hard reset. Oh my god. devastated three sites in London. Authorities are asking residents to remain in their homes as the situation continues to develop. We have received no official casualty total, but it is expected. Mourners gathered for a series of candlelight vigils that brought closure to thousands of families and indeed to an entire city. London is now laser focused. They attend Downing Street, where Nigel Cass, CEO of private military company Albion, received a mandate to secure London. Cass has vowed to hunt down dead set. Terrorist response has failed. Albion used cutting-edge artificial intelligence systems and autonomous drones to capture the remaining members of dead set. A stark warning to would-be insurgents. Operations are posting record profits due to increased efficiencies in production and distribution, enabled by the use of technologies initially developed and approved for security purposes. As crime numbers take a dive, illegal gambling, drug trafficking and prostitution all down following prosecutions of the leaders of four of London's five largest criminal syndicates, the streets of Camden and Brixton. As Albion's mandate is extended indefinitely by the government, life finally begins to return to normal. Curfews and travel restrictions have been lifted in all boroughs thanks to the Reports of rioting in Trafalgar Square have been greatly exaggerated, possibly by foreign meddlers pushing a false narrative through social media. Albion is in complete control of a few reprimand the public about the circulation of fake news, conspiracy theories persisting in dark corners of the internet that terrorist group DeadSec were framed for the bombings have been roundly rejected. Our own reporters could not find a single Londoner willing to expound those theories on camera. The facts simply do not support any other story.
I need to assemble a team, but I can't reboot DeadSec alone. Let me break into London CTOS and see who's available. I'm Claire Waters, and we've been discussing the hacktivist, now alleged terrorist group, DeadSec, on this week's Buccaneer Radio. I have Colin calling in. Colin, what's your take? Now, I've been saying from the start we should have round up dead sick and thrown them in jail. Now, I'll say they should all be lined up and shut. You don't find it awfully convenient that they've been fingered as the attackers, but we've seen no proof. Look at Toe! Look at our city! What more proof do you need? Well, Colin, I'd say you have to look at their history of non-violent action. Albion's put more civilians in the hospital in the past few months than DedSec ever has. I smell a scapegoat. Now I have Emily calling in. Emily, what's your take? You're absolutely right, Claire. The government's just framing DedSec because they want to make it seem like they have this under control. They probably have no clue who was behind the bombings. But that doesn't look good on the news, does it? DedSec's been a thorn in their side. Who better to pin it on? Angie, I have you next. What do you make of all this? I think of anything. Huh? Dead sex showed their true colours. It's terrifying to think we harboured such a dangerous element for years. Terrorists in our own backyard. Do you find dead sex more frightening than the different gangs in London like Clan Kelly? Clan Kelly might set your shop on fire and maybe they'd kill you, but even they wouldn't try to blow up all of Parliament. Next, I have Crypto King. Do you feel safer using a pseudonym? Shit, the situation is worse than I thought. Brilliant. Let's get the people of London on board. Glad to see you're alive. If you're still committed to the cause, DedSec needs you. I'll send you the coordinates to our last safe house. Meet me there. All right.
Lunch I'll help me. Suspects reported in your area, potentially armed and hostile. Control, we have a visual on the suspect. units disengage. This search is pointless. to be here. Jog on. I've downloaded a patch to your optics so you can access our security system. It's set up so that I can't just let someone who isn't dead sec in. You'll have to do the manual override. Very well. This manual override will be like putty in my hands. Ah, oh, here we go. Down the rabbit hole. Hello? Anyone home? Ah, I suppose I should turn the power back on. Coming up in today's episode of The Upload, we're talking about how Bagley managed to conquer London. Pretty much my favourite topic, I could talk for hours about the rise of the AI system. It's easy to forget about its origins, it's so present everywhere we go now. Bagley just kind of blends into the background. Bagley is the service AI that's present in every optic device. Whether you're using the optic, Bagley will be there. The AI is streamed to your optic from Bloom Central Command Centre and it was first created by Sky Larson, our tech hero, as part of her techno-utopian idea for the world. Why do you think it grew so quickly? 
In my mind, it's no surprise that Bagley became so popular. It's funny, useful, fast. It's a great companion and really just makes life so much easier. I mean, when you look back at all the service AIs that used to exist, they just can't compete. When you ask Bagley anything, there's a quick answer and loads of information available to you. One day, I let Bagley answer all of my messages for a whole 24 hours and no one even noticed the difference. The other competitors really just couldn't compete with Bagley. Their answers were so much worse. They didn't understand anything. And Bagley pretty much gets everything right first time. Do you have any idea why Bagley really beat all the competition? Well, it's really the data, isn't it? Ever since Broker hooked up with Bloom, that's when things changed. And really, that's not actually that great. Bloom has data on everybody. They collect information about everything you're doing across the web through your optic headset. Isn't the AI only good because of Bloom surveillance? Well, I suppose so, but I'd prefer not to talk about that side of things. Bagley is so special because it's been trained on this huge cache of information. That's how these AI systems work, or at least used to work. I mean, we don't really know that much about the latest version because there's so much secrecy around the tech, but they're given this huge amount of training data. It's basically a huge database that's used to teach the AI about patterns in behavior. You know, so if you always travel the same way to your house, it can predict when you're going to go and get a self-driving car ready for you before you even ask for it. That's pretty terrifying. In some ways, I don't want this data to, to drive my life. It understands too much at times. Have you heard some of the rumors around the hacked version of Bagley? I've heard mutterings, yes. I've heard it's been used by DedSec. I wouldn't put it past them. It's pretty well known that they're not fans of Bloom. But the idea of a souped up version of Bagley, given it's already so intelligent, is a bit terrifying. I wonder what they could actually make it do. Coming up in today's episode of The Upload, we're talking about how bad You're mine now. No dead sec registration detected. Identify yourself, or I'll seal the exits, hack your optic, and read you every drunken email you ever wrote until you starve. Oh, do simmer down. Sabine brought me here. Sabine's alive? Well, that's one piece of good news. I'm Bagley, DedSec's definitely not stolen, highly advanced AI assistant, and it seems I've been out of commission for a few months. Anyway, why don't you go connect me to the DedSec network so I can become more powerful than you could possibly imagine? I mean, catch up on what I missed. Coming up today on The Upload, we're talking about Sky Larson, the enigmatic founder of Broker Tech. Everyone knows her name, but no one knows too much about her. And we only really see her these days as a hologram. She was pretty young when she launched Broker Tech, the company that is best known for introducing Bagley to the world. Nowadays, it's hard to remember a world before Bagley. And I think that what Sky Larson's done with Bagley is absolutely incredible. Bagley is the most advanced, significant AI of our time, and it's really blown all the other AIs that were created out of the water. Yeah, I mean, I can't really imagine the optic without it. But what do you know about Sky Larson herself? Um, not a lot other than that she's actually pretty incredible. I've followed her work for a long time, and she's always been a pretty private person. I know that she supposedly grew up in the countryside, but there isn't actually that much more we know about her other than this tech that she's put out into the world. I've always found it a bit creepy that she's so obsessed with this idea of transhumanism. Why wouldn't you be when you've got a mind as amazing as Skye's? Why wouldn't you want to take what you've got? and actually augment it by working with technology, by improving your physical self, changing your body and the world around you, implementing more technology to extend your life and really sort of extend human capabilities. You sound pretty much in love with Sky Larson, I have to say. 
I can't comment on that, but I am a big fan of her work. She's been one of these people that has transformed the world around us, and just watching how her mind works from afar is pretty incredible because some of what the technology she's introduced has changed how we all live our lives, and Bagley has been this really incredible assistance to humanity as a whole. Did I ever tell you that I actually interviewed Sky Larson once? Really? I thought she never spoke to the media or anything. So this was a long time ago, back in the day when she was a little bit more accessible. And she was one of these people that just had an amazing presence. You were inspired by her very being, and she was just incredibly talented and knowledgeable, and one of possibly the best living people that I've ever met. I'm not sure you're being too objective there. I mean, I imagine she's not very likable as a person. She obviously despises humanity in some way. I think she believes that becoming data is preferable to being human. She's one of these people who is extremely methodical in everything that she does, and she does everything to perfection and really tries to change the world around her and make it a better place for us to live in. If you say so. Ah, that's it. I'm reconnected to the network. Downloading our database, news archives, and... Oh, oh, oh no. Terrorist group DedSec responsible for deadly bombings in London. Dalton Wolf dead? I leave you people alone for a second and you immediately cock it all up. So, since DedSec did not perpetrate the bombings, the question is, who did? There's a gap in my memory after Dalton... Well, let's be honest, after I disarmed the bomb at Parliament, I'm missing information about what happened after I was taken offline. But from what I can infer, an unknown hacker group identified only as Zero Day was involved. I believe this Zero Day staged the attacks and framed DedSec for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call. Patching in Sabine Brandt now. I suggest you listen very closely to anything she has to say. There you are. I'm glad you made it. Backley. God, it's good to hear your demented little voice. Is your memory intact? Not even slightly. The last record I have is of our HQ being raided. My only lead is a group known as Zero Day. Ring any bells? No. But the HQ was attacked by some men in black. The same that were at Parliament. Maybe working together. We didn't stand a chance. They just gunned everyone down. Dreadful business. How did you make it out alive? I managed to escape through the sewers to Camden. A contact smuggled me out of the city and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudent. Your profile is red flagged as a high priority target in the city's surveillance system. Even a partial recognition hit would have you hunted down and shot on sight. The city's out for dead sex blood, I'm afraid. I wish I could help, but I'd be sticking my neck out. And I quite like my neck. Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. I lost everything and everyone. But it comes down to this. London is in a death spiral. And if DedSec can't pull it out, trust me, no one can. The city needs a resistance. And it starts with you. What do you say? I suppose we'd... Better get started, then. Excellent. New user registered. Welcome to DedSec. Now, it would be irresponsible of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. You'll find equipment around the safe house that are essential items in your DedSec kit.
we have a sophisticated system for hiding your identity from facial recognition tech. It's called a mask. And while we're here, perhaps we can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look at you. Come on. You've got all these fancy new toys, but it's also important to know the basics. You need to learn how to throw a punch and how to take one. Albion will escalate if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DeadSec, we try to use guns only as a last resort. Have you already met Connie Robinson? She owns the pub and is an old DeadSec contact, not to mention a champion amateur boxer. Go to the practice ring and she'll show you how to stop flinching when someone cocks a punch at you. I'll be right down. Could use the warm up. Let's start with some basic strikes. Hit me. Don't be shy. You want to get in under my block. Find the weak point. You're getting it. You're getting it. Quick on your feet now. You want to create distance. You're getting it. Just like that. There's only one more skill you need to master, socialization. The rest of your team has arrived. Why not go and have a chat? Welcome to DeadSec. Thanks, I'm ready to bring real justice where it's needed. Hello, hello. Okay, so I'm dead sick now, but what about my training, huh? Am I supposed to just do this? We're all learning on the job. Now that you're all as thick as cyber thieves, Sabine would like to talk to you. Well done, team. It's good to see the safe house filling up again. 
The only way we're going to keep London from falling into total oppression is by rebuilding the resistance. We need to recruit, train, build back our arsenal. The people are itching to rise up and take their city back. We just need to show them that Dead Sec are fighting along with them. Listen, as long as we put a stop to people exploiting the city, I'll be happy. Ireland's controlling the whole city, silencing anyone who dares to question them. Clan Kelly are also bad guys. Exploiting people who are weak, we kill them too. Fair, but remember that this zero-day hacker group is still out there. They took out DedSec once, and it's a good bet they'll try again. I believe they were responsible for the bombings and framed DedSec. With your help, I plan to get to the bottom of this mystery. I'd say that's a full docket. Enough talk. Let's unfuck London. First order of business. The Signals Intelligence Response Service, or SIRS, or the Earl Grey Gestapo, have developed a surveillance technology called AR Reconstruction. It's the bleeding edge of privacy rights violation, and thus it could be very useful in our attempts to find Zero Day. What is going on?